Welcome back to RealVacantLand.com. This is Luke Smith. I've got another property for you. Check out this Florida wilderness. So behind my shoulder there, maybe if I can get out of the way. Nice sandy road, flat land. Florida's flat all over the place. Got some pine trees in the area. Properties like right over here on behind my shoulder. And it's just, uh, nobody's gonna bug you out here. I mean, drive in your RV or your, your you know, Ford Fiesta or whatever, and go camp out, throw a tent, you know, just pull in. Don't say I told you the regulations allow you to do that, but you know, like in really this, this part of Florida, nobody's going to bother you. Um, okay. So we're on the website, realvacantland.com asking $9,900 for this thing. It's one and a quarter acre. Jacob Fields has this one and his phone number is right over my head. You can click on it, call him, talk to him. Say, hey, Jacob, you know, what, what can I do here? Um, take a look at this map. <laughs> 300 people looked at it so far. It's just, it must, it's not been on the website that long, I don't think. Um, I don't, I, I don't think there's any power lines or utilities or anything out here. There's definitely, there's no, is there street view? There's street view. Check that out. <laughs> What was the Google guy thinking driving down this road? <laughs> so we got your classic Florida scotch pine. Uh, they call these in the forestry business. I used to do some forestry finance stuff. They call these uh, 10 year trees. Northern Florida, you plant them 10 years later, you can harvest them. You make like pulp out of them, right? It's not, they're not the fanciest trees. You make like paper and stuff. Um, so they usually plant them thicker than this, but this is a sandy area. This looks like the kind of area where you're not going to have any problem at all getting septic to go into that soil. Uh, you just drive up there, just drive slow. You probably have fun with your dirt bike and your four wheeler and your, your side by side and everything else and just go for it. So I think this is, I can't believe they got street view on this thing. Yeah. So it's, it's one of these properties. I'm going to get lost. Does it matter? They all look the same. Um, okay, so let's jump out of there, go to the website, play with the street view, check it out. It's Bronson, Florida. So um, let's zoom out some more. <laughs> Google guy must have been like, why am I on this assignment? I get paid by the mile. I'm going to get every mile in the area. Oh, man. So look at this grid area is laid out all over the place here. Let's flip it over to a map. Bronson. You think there's anything in Bronson? Let's take a look if we can find anything in Bronson. Bronson Country Inn, Julie's Diner. Let's take, oh, they got a bank. They got a bank and a gas station. This is like, this is hopping. Capital City Bank. Ask them for some capital. No, look in the drawers, see how much they have left. Here's a Marathon Gas Station, $2.80. That's not the current gas price, I bet you. There's the diner I was talking about. This is a four-lane road going through this town. You got the American flag. I mean, what more do you need? What is that? Let's see here. Charm store. Yeah, there we go. Progressive. Get some auto insurance. Tax services. This is not a good place to do commercial properties. You're not going to get McDonald's to buy a property from you here. But this is a good place to have a Bob's gas station and a, you know, Bob's bank and those kinds of places, hometown stuff. I bet you there's an awesome barber in this town. Not that he find any hair up here to cut, but you know, he's probably like $7 old school barber shop. There's probably a nice bar around here somewhere. And you get the idea. This is the countryside. It's American country. Here's the exchange. That's not a Kmart. Come on. There's a K. Kangaroo, okay. Kangaroo Express, you can get your liquor there. Um, Ace Hardware, now when you're setting your place up, you can get you know all kinds of hardware. You probably go to the hardware store a lot, at least I would. Package and Lounge, another liquor. So two liquor store, a hardware store, a little bank. There's probably a USPS around here. Let's jump out and let's back out of this little area. Meat processing. Dollar General, there, Dollar General Market. Save a lot, Howie's Pizza. There's more here than I thought. Bronson's starting to happen. Okay, 
So there's the local town. The next bigger town's Gainesville. You can probably actually go get parts. Like if your car breaks down or something, you gotta walk over to Gainesville and get get the specific part that it's gonna take to fix the car. So property, Gainesville. Yeah, right here, property, Gainesville. So you're not very far. And then if you just go down the road some more, you get down to the Gulf of Mexico. So if you're interested in these kinds of Florida properties, check this one out. The owner financing is, get this, $185 down. $185 a month for 78 months. I should blow that up, make it bigger. That should be like my title. $185 down, Florida land. I'll put that as a title of the YouTube video. <laughs> $370 down. Okay, GPS coordinates, you click on that, go take a look at the property. $80, $80 a year in taxes and Got directions to Walmart, 26 minutes away. So that's gonna be a heck of a long bike ride. But you can drive over there, you can drive over to Walmart. And um, there's a church, there's a, uh, what is that? No, that looks like a white elephant. They built something too big for that town. And this is, you know, some health center, hospital, tourist stuff. Okay, you get the idea. Thanks for looking. Thanks for watching. $9,900 land in Florida. You could drive up in your car, your RV. You could put a mobile home there. You could build a house there. Just have fun with it. Get creative. It's going to be sunny all the time, except for when it's raining. And uh, just go have fun with it. Thanks. See you in the next one. Bye.